All right, what is up, guys? We are back with Attack on Titan Chapter 110, Counterfeit. Um, this is the last chapter in Volume 27. Um, let's just get into this, man. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm pumped. Let's do this. Uh, so they called it a gas weapon. It spread like fog downwind and engulfed that village. Oh, so we're starting off with like a flashback. So there's uh, Piek and, and Zeke. The gas contained my spinal fluid. Any subjects of Ymir who inhaled the gas, even the smallest bit, were immediately frozen in place and they no longer had control over their bodies and they lost consciousness. They never told me how it works, but if my spinal fluid makes it inside the body of any subject of Ymir, a coordinate is etched inside of them to which the power of the titans can be sent. All that was left for me was to give the order, and I used this path to send the power of the Titans to those coordinates. Okay, so there's there's so much going on on, on these these on all these first two pages, man. Um So I feel like the word coordinate is is really I don't know if it's like a translation error or something like that, because we know we know Aaron is the only coordinate, right? Um so I, I'm guessing when he says coordinate, he's specifically meaning as like in terms of like location, in terms of like he's just marking these people. So like he's all these people are coordinates, you know, the ones that he's marking, the ones that have been gassed, essentially. That sounds really, really bad. <laughs> but the ones who have uh, in, 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 inhaled his, his spinal fluid, right? Um, those people have been marked. And then what's what's fascinating is that... <sighs> I guess essentially, you know, because these once they inhale the the gas, his spinal fluid, they have no control over their bodies at this point. And basically, whenever Zeke sees fit, just at the snap of a finger, he can send. Um, I think he called it the path, right? Um, yeah, so he can send. Um, he just has to give the orders, right? The snap of his of the fingers, whenever he he deems it fit. He can send the power of the Titans to these people who have been marked and then, you know, they will be turned into Titans. Um, I, I think I think that's what it is. It's just the word coordinate kind of throws it all off. But this is this is pretty insane if that is the case. Um, also fascinating that it only takes spinal fluid, right? It's not anything drastic, right? Um, that needs to be injected into people's bodies. It can be something as small as spinal fluid, which is a, a neat little tidbit to know. Um, Jesus, look look at the explosion, man, of just all the Titans simultaneously transforming. Those Titans are connected to one another by way of my Beast Titan. This is why I can impose my will on them and why they move according to my orders. Wait, this is Connie's village! This is, I, yeah, I recognize that, that Titan, uh, down, that, this is, oh my god, this is Connie's village. You called it that village. Its name was Ragako. It was a village full of Eldians you slaughtered, you bearded shit. Yes, I wish I didn't have to do it either, but I had to. If Marley had learned that my true allegiance was to Eldian restoration, I would never have been able to bring hope to this island. I said all this when I first landed here, did I not? Why do you keep asking about it again and again? Interesting. Because we always wondered what happened to, to Connie's village. Like, how on earth, you know, did it, you know, become the way that it was? Um, yeah, and then it's also, it's also interesting that, like, you would imagine, like, the idea of turning an entire village into, into titans when we learn when we later found out that the, even like such a thing was even possible um we always thought it it, it, w it would be like by way of injections right like you had to be injected for it to to uh for that to happen and in this sense it, it would would not have made sense for zeke to go individually one by one injecting people with a serum you know one by one by one in this entire village um, so it's it's fascinating to, that they found another way to basically transform an entire, a large group of people into Titans in one fell swoop. Um, God, dude. I don't know if I showed this already, but <laughs> we'll do it again.
Uh, because I can I can see you don't carry a speck of guilt. I'm not sure if you really want to save Eldie or not, but I'm certain those people's lives meant nothing to you. You must have been real popular with the ladies. Uh, it's not nice to make assumptions about other people's feelings, you know? I know. I was popular enough. Is that so? Well, when are you going to have me meet Aaron and start this experiment? That's not my call. I'm waiting for orders from HQ. Tell them that if they think they have time to wait around, they're mistaken. At last, we agree. I did go to meet Aaron that day. Oh, Yelena, okay. Oh? I apologize for hiding the fact until now. This is reason enough for you to detain the volunteers. Charming as ever, aren't you? So, this secret meeting with Aaron, are you saying that's when you convinced him to go along with Zeke's plan? I never did that, but I was impatient. I know it's just how things are, but you people don't know what the world is like. If you kept waiting to decide, it would have been uh, too late for Eldia. So I'm guessing they're referring specifically to Aaron's move to actually go over to, to Marley. Um, Aaron felt the same sense of danger. It didn't take long for, uh, for the two of us to come to an agreement of how we should resolve this issue. Um, and that's when you told Aaron to infiltrate Marley alone to force the military into action. I never said anything of the sort. But I did say that the military government needed to be stirred up. You could have come to the military command and yell at us instead. You already, you already risked an in-person meeting. Why leave without some kind of formal agreement? Of course, it was a risk for a ex-Marley uh, soldier and the founding titan to meet. We weren't in a position to request a meeting with him, even in a public place. I see. Uh, you didn't want to endanger our trust in the volunteers. Uh, yet you still decided to meet in secret. Uh, so that you could gain influence over Aaron and accomplish Zeke's goals, right? What would be the point in that? I just wanted uh, Aaron, Yeager, Aaron Yeager to see who I was. Interesting. Huh. This this almost kind of looks like the same face that she made when she when she initially saw, you know, the Beast Titan, right? And she, like, referred to him as, like, a god. Um, I wonder if she sees, if she sees Aaron kind of in the same way. Um... Hmm. Uh, no, we wanted Aaron's Titan to smash Marley into pieces, just as Zeke made us hope that uh, made us hope he would, and I wanted Aaron to stand up for his own principles. Uh, he delivered a massive blow to Marley, just as we'd hoped. No, it was even better than we imagined. While I feel bad about the many injured Marleyan citizens, the wicked leaders of Marley's military were, were wiped out. He led the way and succeeded in doing it all on his own. He delivered divine punishment. Wow, it's she she like specifically refers to it as divine punishment. Wow. Um to the land where we suffered for so long. That he was capable of so much is proof that he carries the founding titan inside of him. Commander, do you understand what's unfolding before us now? Right now, we are witnessing the moment that history changes. Two brothers are going to remake the world. I just want to have a good view of the action. Wow, that's 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 a really cool line. In other words, the real reason you met Aaron was your curiosity? I suppose so. None of the other volunteers know about my meeting with him. Oh, so this is something that she completely did on her own. Interesting. Uh, Flock was my go-between because I convinced him there was a crisis. Okay. Uh, all this happened because I acted rashly. There's no denying the fact that I deceived you. I tied a noose around my own neck, but everything I did, I did for Eldia. Hmm. I mean, she she did accomplish what she set out to do, right? I mean. At the end of the day, she wanted she wanted um, the military in, in in Marley to be stirred up, right? To get um, a massive like kick in the ass, basically, um, and she succeeded. And it's nice it's nice to see that she does lament, you know, the the, the sort of innocent lives that were lost. Um, so it is nice to see that. But she doesn't feel bad about you know the the leaders and then you know those people. Um, who were caught in the crossfire, who were killed, 
Um, cause she sees that as divine punishment. Um, all right. Even I'd like to believe that. Now recount everything you and Aaron said to each other. Want to know how to tell a good lie? Mix in a little bit of truth from time to time. I can't believe you would doubt us after all this time. Honestly, I'm hurt. Oh, uh, what's his, it's, his name is so weird. It's like Yo Yankopo, right? That, that's his name? Okay. Uh, Commander, we risked our lives to fight Marley just like you. Is now really the time to claim that Zeke is a Marleyan double agent? Can you even afford to split your forces right now? Aren't we comrades? Didn't we sweat side by side to build the rail and trade systems that have brought wealth to this island? We gave everything for Eldia. And in return, you take us hostage. I can't excuse what we're doing, but please endure it for a little longer. Uh, whoever would have thought, you're right, uh, Onyankopo. Ten months ago when the railroad opened, I never would have believed this. Yes, indeed. We swore to each other we'd fight for Eldia's future, and yet... <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> She's just, like, right in his face. Also, that's that's actually a, re a really interesting point. So, Yelena did say that she she met with Aaron, you know, completely, um, you know, like, from, like, with her own, you know, uh, of her own volition. You know, she did have Flock be the goat to go between between uh herself and Aaron um but none of the other volunteers knew about this meeting I wonder if was uh Yankobo also uh kept out of the dark from this meeting or or did he know about it um anyway uh what Yelena she admitted to meeting with Aaron in secret really really uh did you really not know no I didn't I really didn't okay there you go <laughs> I feel like that always happens. Like I, 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 like I say something or I have a question and it's answered like the next fucking page. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it looks like you didn't know, Yelena. Uh, you want to say she never do something like that? Is that because you can imagine her doing it? Well, that's it came in the wrong order, but she gave us the reason we needed to detain the volunteers. Tell me everything you know about Yelena. Uh, for the sake of our future. As far as I know, it was Yelena who organized the volunteers. She's the one who recru who recruited the anti-Marlian resistance under the banner of Zeke's secret plan. It was hard for us to mesh at first with all of the fear and doubt, but each time Yelena would point her gun at Marley, she showed her loyalty to Zeke and the organization by getting her own hands dirty. Okay. Um, every Marleyan who doubted us, even those we knew as friends who ate and slept alongside us, met untimely deaths. We overcame these losses by believing it was all for the sake of our stolen homeland. We do not know why she would secretly meet Aaron. I always felt she was rushing ahead of us, and we strained to keep up, our eyes on her back. It's odd. Uh, What? You say Yelena had no mercy for Marleans, but on this island, she's done everything she could to capture them alive. In fact, she's given those prisoners jobs and some degree of freedom. Yes, it is true that this seems uh, lenient, given who she once was. We thought of this as her own way of apologizing to the Marleans. After all, this is an island, not mainland Marley. But... Yelena was so insistent that the Marleyan rights be respected. She even argued with the, mili with the military government when she'd been so careful to, careful to keep her head down for the sake of the volunteers. That's the thing. Uh, come with me, Onyakobo. You want me to leave here? I'll handle the details. Let's go. I'm not sure uh, I want to do this. It's really interesting to see these... Um, there's definitely something up with Yelena, with Yelena because at, at first when, you know, he was pointing out that, um, you know, just sort of her, her, ruth, her initial ruthlessness towards Marleyans. Um, and then, and then he, he kind of like defended her and, and was saying, well, maybe it was kind of her own way, um, you know, afterwards, um, 
like on the island of her of her you know capturing them alive and stuff like that maybe it was her own way of um you know uh like uh, apologizing to them or, or or something like that um and, he, and myself too I, w I was just thinking this maybe you know this was um I, I don't know, like, her, her trying to, like, you know, not necessarily, like, a, a, a good, uh, like, coming off as, as, like, good faith, but, like, uh, maybe just not coming off as completely batshit insane to, you know, the, the aliens on the island, maybe, something like that, um, but now we're seeing that it goes even deeper, that she argued, you know, with, um, who was it, she, she argued that she was just so insistent um, with, like, the treatment of the Marlians on the island, um, that she was even arguing about it, um, so it, it it's kind of un unbelievable that she would turn, like, a complete 180 with, you know, how she treated Marlians, you know, uh, you know, once before, and versus how she's treating them now, right, um, so I don't know. I'm I'm gonna be really interested to see what 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 exactly is going on with Yelena with Yelena. What is you know what is she up to, man? Like I, I feel like she's far far more deep or deeply connected to Aaron and Zeke's plan than than we know. Dare I say I feel like she's probably like like obviously she's probably like one of the most important players in this plan. But I feel like she's probably like like it's Zeke and Aaron together. But then I feel like. Yelena is right there like those three together man I I, I, f I feel like that's what it is um, all right so next page Annie are you t Annie oh my god <laughs> um hey uh, excuse me sir no touching that girl aloud <laughs> you've got it wrong hitch I'm <laughs> Titan memories often come to people based on touch, you see? It's true, it really is. I thought I might be able to get some important information from this. I wasn't trying to do anything improper. Not at all. <laughs> um, well, you are a boy. I can see how you'd be interested in all that information. <laughs> in all that information Annie has to offer. Uh, I, okay, I'm sorry. Just please don't ban me. I'm not going to do that. It gets dull having me as your only conversation partner, right, Annie? I can't believe you. How are you this popular when all you do is sleep? Um, I don't care if you have the hots for her, but do you know what's going on in the world? Read this. The military continues to cling to power as they unjustly detain Aaron Yeager. So it's that, it's that propaganda again, man. Those, those journalists are, are putting in work, man, for, for the volunteers, uh, or for Aaron's group. Um, people are really starting to distrust the military and command isn't even trying to justify themselves. Of course, folks feel that way. Still, it's not like they can reveal the existence of Zeke or the earth-shattering uh, weapon. We need to hurry and figure out Aaron's true intentions ourselves. Oh wow, look at all these people. Free Aaron. Only Aaron can save Eldia. Only Aaron Yeager can avenge our eaten citizens. There is no new Eldian Empire without Aaron Yeager. Marley is oppressing Eldians. World history is Marley and lies. What can the military do without Aaron? Kill all the Marlians, return Aaron to the people. What's to say that the people have surrounded every local military base? Wow, 